Thanks for tuning in to the BS Collectibles Review. I'm Bruce. I'm Steven. Steven, it's good to have you back. We missed you on the last video. Well, thank you, Bruce. It's been, uh, it's been a hard time away. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we reviewing this week? Oh, man, we've got some goodies. I think uh, this week uh, we did um, some of the Mezco figures and um, some Transformer figures. All right. So uh, today we're going to look at the uh, Mezco uh, 112 Dark Side. Dark Side. What do you think about Dark Side? Man, he's pretty awesome, dude. Uh, as far as villains go, he's definitely one of the most powerful, you know, one of the more powerful in the, the DC universe, uh, being more uh, more focused around Superman. Yeah, um, I would think Superman, when you think villains, it's, it's Lex, probably Brainiac, and then I think Darkseid's right there, top three. Mother box. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. So uh, tell me a little bit about the 112s from Mezco. Well, I'm a big fan of the Mezco 112s. Uh, I think I just really, really enjoy uh, a 112 scale figure. So the 112 for uh, some of you new collectors out there is going to be more of your 6 inch scale action figures. Um, you've got some really good brands. Today we're going to focus more around Mezco, um, but Storm Collectibles is another one and uh, there's a few other ones too. Yeah. But uh, I really want to say I this year, these past two years, I've been so impressed with the Mezco 112 line. Um, they are continuing to just just hawk out some of the really coolest stuff, man. And this is just a, yeah, one I, example. I agree. I think, um, you know, coming from a poor guy, being a teacher, I can't <laughs> afford the sideshow stuff. Mm -hmm. you know? so, I agree. But this has the same detail, the, the sculpt, the paint. I mean, this guy, amazing. I you have the cloth material for the clothing. Totally agree. You have 100%. And I will say, uh, at some times, um, these actually do come with a little bit more articulation than some of the Hot Toys uh, figures. I know a lot of some of the new Hot Toys, they're, they're definitely improving on some of the aspects of articulation and uh, joint improvement, but these guys, I mean, you can do some of the most accurate poses with the Mezco figures. Yeah, I, I think this is, I wouldn't say the poor man's Hot Toy, but <laughs> definitely a, a better price point than the Hot Toys, and just as, as nice. I mm -hmm. Yeah, I, on average, you're going to spend about 80 to 90 bucks on a Mezco 112 figure. Uh, average Hot Toys, 250 to, to $350. <laughs> average, I know some of those... Uh, Iron Man marks do get up there like the Hulkbuster and so forth, oh, but yeah. I mean these guys right here, I think the only thing for me that I would really say in some in uh, some situations on some figures, I think that sometimes the, the mesh cloth can be a little bit restricting on some of the, the movement. I agree. I agree. And, and that would probably be something that I would, um, I guess if I were to have it, if I were to have to give it some type of downfall, it would probably be maybe a little, if they could Maybe use some type of material to, you know, be a little bit more stretchy or yeah, flexible. Yeah. Or uh, maybe almost like the Fison body without the, the joints under the cloth. Because I noticed, like, um, we're going to we're gonna do the Doctor Strange later, and, and some of his joints would catch on the cloth and it made it a little restricted. Maybe it's a little restricted on the arm movement and yeah. so forth. You can't really, sometimes it feels like you can't get a full range of motion lifting his uh like lateral karate kid yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right without further ado let's get to the uh out of box product all right let's do it <laughs> all right guys here we are with the box uh sorry about the light got a little reflection there let me see if i can move it there we go so the box you see is a nice metal tin uh, really protects the figures inside. Looks great. I have the Omega signal on the side. You see the Mezco on the back. It's really cool. You see all the different faces, accessories, and you have a little comic at the bottom. And we have the instructions. And nobody reads those, so let's get straight to the figure. Look at the sculpt. It's beautiful sculpt work on his arms and face. Got a head's got a nice rotation, go all the way around, left, right, up and down. Love the face sculpt. Uh, the tunic is made out of a uh, kind of a pleather type material. The neck's got a little rubber to it. Um, arm, you don't get much elbow bend, that's about all we get. 
does get out to there, can rotate around, which is pretty good considering the size of the figure. Usually big figures don't have that much articulation. We do have some uh, articulation at the wrist. It can rotate. I believe it gets a little bit of a tilt too. Uh, moving on down to the ab crunch. You can really lean back, crunch down, a uh, little bit of left and right. You just have to be careful not to get the tunic caught in the joint. Legs, you can get about, about that far. Get up, back. Uh, knee bend, eh, not much in there. But with such a chunky figure, I mean, can't expect a whole lot there. <laughs> Does have nice ankle rocker and tilt. Man, this figure is really heavy when you get him in hand, too. Oh, and we can pull these face off. Underneath, you have LED lights, and you have a magnet there that holds the face plate on. So bring this one in. It's kind of a smirking look. And then we have a uh, battle damaged. Oh, get it on there. We have a battle damaged face. Nice grimace. And the battle damage will light up a little bit with the uh, lights that are in there. Let me zoom in and get a better look. It's a wonderful sculpt. Really cool look. Unfortunately, this is the face that most people will use. Hero Mega Beams. Man, that is just so awesome. Fortunately, I couldn't figure out how to get the lights on. I didn't want to. This is not my figure. I'm on loan to me from Steven's Collectibles, so I didn't want to put the batteries in. But my studio lights light those beams up pretty good. You can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Really nice. It does come with several different hands. Um, he has the ones that are on there, plus these open ones. Also comes with his uh, mother box, which is... Uh, it's a metal, um, does magnetize onto the back of his belt. It's got a nice sculpt in it. And he comes with a special hand to hold it. Really nice. And he comes with a base, uh, action base, just your standard figure arts uh, base and arm. And it just plugs right in and then clips around his waist. Although this guy, as I said before, is extremely heavy. Uh, it, you can't get a flight pose with him. It, it will help you to balance him so you don't have to worry about him falling over, but you're not gonna get him in any aerial poses. He also comes with a nice cape. It's the uh, same pleather type material that his tunic's made out of. Get this, it just goes right over his shoulders really nice. Sits on, it's got some heft to it so that it stays on really nice. Adjust it a little bit here, you can look at the back. And we do have the shoulders that are made of a metal die cast. They're nice and solid at weight. All right, Steven, what, what's your thoughts on the uh, figure after we did the review? Well, I gotta say, there's some really cool stuff about this figure. Uh, here, of course, you've got the infamous Omega Beams going on. Um, without the cape, we decided to, to stand them up. It does come with the accessory cape. Um, I will say the cape is amazing. I mean, they use the cloth. Uh, the shoulder pads feel phenomenal. Just, I will, I will note that standing them up with the cape uh, does yeah. require some attention to detail yeah. because it, it it does add some extra shoulder weight and it does pull the yeah. figure back. He, he does come with the uh, the traditional Mezco stand. Um, unfortunately though, this guy is heavy. I, I First thing out of box, it's like, whoa, he's a brick. It's impressive, yeah. But can, uh, unfortunately yeah. the stand, I, I try to tighten it up, everything, it, it won't hold him. <laughs> it won't hold him, it's for looks. He's a beast. <laughs> he is a beast. <laughs> Although I will say, my, my first impression, he's heavy. Uh, he's almost a ceramic material. I noted that when I was doing the review. But the posability you can get out of this guy, I was impressed. For a big figure, being a little bit more on the bulky side, you traditionally figure, while well, this figure's probably 
going to sacrifice a lot of articulation for that girth. But in this case, I don't know how Mezco managed to do it, but I mean, this figure is still highly posable. Definitely. And I even missed it in the review, guys. I apologize. Under the faceplate, he, he does have light up eyes. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't figure out where the, uh, the on switch was. So I, I didn't cover it in the review. There's instructions, Steven. There's instructions. <laughs> I, I didn't read them. I guess it's just <laughs> go it's, figure. It's just a guy thing, you know. We never like to read instructions. Yeah. So <laughs> if you guys pick this up from Stephen here at Stephen's Collectibles and More, definitely read the instructions. It tells you how to put the batteries in, how to turn the on switch on. Uh, it even tells you that the mother box is magnetic onto the back of the belt. Mm-hmm. We learned something new today. Yeah. Right there. So. All right. Yep. So the mother box is magnetic. It's got a good fill on it. Um, I will say it does come with some extra head sculpts. I think yes. what three, 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 three different three head, head sculpts, sculpts about four different hands. Mm -hmm. It does come with yeah. it comes with the extra, of course, stand and the attachment mother box for the back of his belt. Yes. So this comes with some extremely yeah. cool. You, you get your money's worth with this guy. Definitely. Yeah. And as I mentioned earlier, you know most Mezcos are traditionally between the the eighty and ninety dollar range. Being that this is a larger scale figure yeah. compared, and it's a lot heavier, um, this one actually takes you north of a hundred dollars between the one fifty yeah. and, and and one eighty mark. Yeah, I, I still feel like it's a value for what you get. And if you pay by the pound, it's definitely a value. <laughs> He's a heavy dude. All right, as always, check out the link down below, and come check Steven's store out. We have all kinds of good stuff. The Mezcos, the previous videos. Come get your stuff. That's right. All right. Can't wait to see you.